Hey, it's Ed here. Welcome to another episode of Lessons from My Mentors. This one actually came from two formal mentors, one a boss sort of mentor. And you think I would have learned the first time, but the second time I learned it came from both sort of at the same time. You'll get it in a second. And here's the lesson. Grab the mic. This is so opposite of sort of my personality, but I've had it told to me enough that clearly it's the right thing and I just have to get over it and adopt it. And so in my last organization, I did a little bit better with it, but it's something I've always struggled with. And I think you understand why as I unpack, grab the mic. So there's a natural tendency for leaders, right? To build up others. You don't want to take all the glory. You know, someone else is doing the work. So what do you have them do? You have them present. So I'll give you, I can give you a ton of examples. I remember the first time I was given this from my formal mentor, who was a CEO, Tom Zenti at University Hospitals. So it was early in my career. You'd think I would have learned it then and not had to be reminded. But we were embarking on an EHR transformation. This was back in the day. This was like amongst the first in the country type of thing. This would have been early 2000s. And so we had this big event, right? Bring everyone together and the CEO gets up there and Tom's up there and he's talking about transformation and how it's going to be a game changer and all these things, getting people excited and ready for the change. Then the next layer was more of the details, not super details because this is like the big kickoff, you know, for all the leaders and, and such. So I came up, right? Because this fell under my purview and I was responsible for leading this along with our CMIO. And so I got up there and I quickly handed the reins to one of my v VPs who was going to lead the initiative. She was really good. She was in finance, she was a CFO, but then she took a role to implement an ERP. Again, kind of revolutionary back in the early 2000s. Did a great job with ERP and we're like, man, we should have her lead, you know, EHR, you know, from a project management point of view, I'm not talking about the clinical side. We all get that. So, so we did, we brought her over. She, she started reporting to me and I brought her on stage. So I said maybe a minute worth of stuff. And then she went up there and gave a lot more detail and people were familiar with her and all that kind of stuff because she had just done the ERP. So afterwards, uh, my mentor, again, I think if you followed these lessons, you know that Tom Zenti was my formal mentor for one year. And he set me aside. It's like, Ed, you can't do that. You're, you're a new leader. You're this young kid. This is your chance to show the organization that you got this. This is your big thing and you're going to run with it and you're the in charge. And yeah, he understood it. You know, obviously you want to give other people the glory and stuff like that. But when you're a new leader and that's sort of the nuance here, when you're new into an organization, you have to grab the mic. All right. So I, I filed that away and I, I tried to be more cognizant of that. And of course I grew there and I was there for many years. And so it didn't become that much of an issue. But when I went to the new place, I remembered, grabbed the mic. And I can't say that I did it fully, probably the way I should, because it's just so against how I feel. Like I want to give other people, you know, the time to shine. But I, but I need to be very cognizant of it. And that's why I'm sharing that with you. So fast forward, I'm at the Cleveland Clinic and it's the same thing. And I think it was, one of the things was probably cybersecurity. There were several other things that came up, but one of them was definitely cybersecurity. And I should have, you know, I was a member of the C-suite. I should have, you know, obviously been super well briefed. I've got the best CISO in the country, super well briefed. I know exactly what I, they need to know. I can handle it. So, but I was like, hey, I want you to meet CISO. And CISO came in, did great job. But afterwards, everyone was kind of, kind of look at it and it, it, it didn't jive with the culture. They're, they're thinking, Ed, this is what they're thinking, but I'll tell you what my boss told me. So they're thinking, hey, this is your deal. We're trusting you as our peer here at this table to deliver on cybersecurity and then what well, you're punting off. And so they, they don't have a sense of confidence from you. So I may be thinking, I know it, but I wanna give the limelight to the CISO, but they're thinking he doesn't know it. And why is he afraid? Why is he handing off? You know, so it sends the wrong message, even though you're trying to do the right thing. So sure enough, I get my next one on one meeting with my boss and he's like, Ed, what I just learned from Toby, former longtime CEO who had hired me at the clinic, he's like, I because he did the same thing. So 
Tommy did the same thing. He he kind of handed off an opportunity when he was supposed to be in front just because he wanted to give that other person, you know, the credit and the exposure. And he was new as CEO. He needed to be out there. And so he's grabbed the mic and grabbed the mic. And so that was a lesson passed on from Toby to Tommy to me again. That was sort of the frustrating thing because when he told me, I was like, I know this. I've been taught this before. Why did I not embrace it? And so that's why I want to share it because there's probably a lot of you like me who are, you know, the stuff you could deliver it to whoever the masses, your peers, whatever, but you're trying to give someone else the limelight, the credit, because they're the ones really doing the work. Right. And that's good once you're established. But if you're new to an organization, and I would say and it depends on the size of your organization, but if you're in a, in a multi-hospital system, being new is about a two-year period at least, right? Like when I came to my last role uh, at the Cleveland Clinic, you know, I was definitely the new person and I don't, I don't want to exaggerate, so I'm just kind of thinking through it really quick. I, I bet everyone around that table had been part of that organization for t- at least 10 years, if not 20 years. So you're new for a long time and you've got to prove your credibility to the rest of the organization. So that's the message is grab the mic. Yes, later after you've established yourself and your credibility, give it away, allow other people to shine appropriately. You can still do both, right? And that was the another lesson learned. You can grab the mic and do it in such a way that you're not taking the glory away from the people actually doing the work, right? Because you could follow up later and say, or in your talks, you could say, we had the greatest CISO ever. I spent a lot of time with them. Never seen anyone so good. Gives me a lot of confidence. And mixed with my experiences, this is what I want to share. But I I want you to know, we got a rock star CISO. So you can cover it like that for sure. But anyways, I hope that helps. Lessons from my mentor. Grab the mic.